Well, we started out uh, really with designing um, the square around the completion of the second building, uh, the, what, what we call the central building, uh, which will be similar in size to the east building, and then to come up with a, um, an art um, form that would really represent the future and um, uh, really, I think, uh, represent the integration of the races that make up the new New Zealand because you know, we're, we're, we, um, we're represented as New Zealanders by Polynesians, Maori, uh, English and Asians and uh, that intercultural um, relationship is really what, what the future of New Zealanders are going to be. When I first came through into the Westpac building, into the huge inner plaza area that's in there, so I've got a huge sense of coming into a marae ate, and you go through and you're coming in into the different parts of that, so I think that's another level of what's happening down there with the cultural significance of things. And at the moment we're working on the um, Pritamart complex sculptures, seven po, that'll be down in Takutai Square. My thoughts behind these particular po uh, were along the lines of the United Kingdoms of the Pacific being in Tamaki Makaurau, Auckland. So therefore I felt like I wanted to sort of get contemporary with the whole melting pot of Auckland, so I've given it a real Pacific Island thumbprint. And it looks, still looks quite mouldy to me, uh, but perhaps that's the, um, that's how it is in countries where migrational people meet. They develop their own unique identity so I've used um, the influences of Cook Island eyes, sort of, Hawaiian heads, sort of. So it's a real uh, hybrid, if you like, guys. They're all different. They're all the same, but they've all got different moko on them. They've all got uh, mamaku on them. Here's the... Um, that fish influence, the fish girl influence I was talking about, the Ika Maui, going into the cloak. The um, development here at Britomart is, is very unique in that, you know, it comes from Peter Cooper's vision to a large extent, although clearly there's a much bigger team at work. But, it, but it's fascinating that it's, it's taken on that whole broader cultural take where it's, it's looking both to the past and to the future. And I think that's what any healthy culture should do. We wanted to have art that reflected the future. And so in, in going down that track, we really um, found Tim Grucci. We'd seen what he had done with you know, his video type art for temporary installations. He'd done a lot of expos, done a lot in Asia. And, his, his art form um, is, is one where you can actually um, blend many, many things and it's an, an interactive art form. Specifically thinking about the activities that are going to take place in the square, I came up with this whole notion of some sort of intelligent entity posits itself here in the square and engages with the community. And, and it does this in a highly interactive way. And the first stage of what we're going to do is called Scout, so it's like the advance that it's come to scout out the square. It's, a, it's an art with colour and sound and, uh, that responds to movement, temperature, time of the day, and so it's ever-changing. The work will actually monitor the square from a whole lot of points of view. It'll have microphones to listen, it'll have cameras to look, it'll also know what time of day it is, what time of the year it is, the seasons, these sorts of things, as well as monitoring what's actually going on in the broader square, monitoring what's going on a few metres out from it, but also right up close field, people will be able to come and talk to this thing and uh, touch it. 
So what we have here is an example of real-time unencumbered interactivity using the video camera. This is just an example. So here I'm using the video camera that's built into the laptop to look at my hand, which could be a person walking through the square, and things happen in direct relationship to that movement. So here we have real-time particle dynamic systems that are being generated by and controlled, their behaviour controlled by the movement of my hand. So here at Britomart, through um, positing two works, you know, a, a more historically, culturally, Murray culturally placed work by Chris Bailey, along with The Scout, it's actually setting up that sort of interplay. And I think that's very, um, you know, uh, you know, I, I commend that sort of approach and thinking. And similarly, you know, it, it goes through, it's not just about the public artworks in the square as well. It's, you know, it's, it's a fundamental part of the whole development. So we came up with this concept of what we're doing there with having these two luxury showcases, we call them, with a sanctuary garden in the middle. And in terms of centering that sanctuary garden, you know, we, we thought about using Poe and the more we got into it, we realise, in fact, you know, the Poe is really an ancient way of, of um, um, putting your stake in the ground and saying, this is my place. The designs vary, they're all... I tried to keep the designs of, of the same flavour for the cluster, but they vary. So these Poe are representative of um, guardians standing together. They uh, represent um, strength and unity. And they're also very much representing the Poe Tarangi a star that is a zenith star for New Zealand. Early navigators used it. And I'm really happy to be um, incorporating those ideas and concepts into the design. They finally are in their place. But um, we're just coming they and doing feel, our binding. Yeah, no, they feel amazing, just the, um, the combination of them all. Mm. Yeah. Very powerful. What's the Matthew on the back of that one? Oh, that's mine. Oh, shit. Matthew, Chris, I get it. Shit, I didn't know about that. <laughs> wow. Kind of surprise. Wow. Wow. Boom and cluster. Wow. Wow, that's a nice surprise. They're much more um, expressive and detailed than I had, had expected, so uh, very good. Cool. First time I've had a um, exhibition in a, a public space, and I'm really humbled and happy for that. I'm also very uh, proud of the fact that uh, people from around the globe will come down as part of the Rugby World Cup. They'll actually get to see contemporary Māori art against the backdrop of uh, New Zealand history and that whole mi mixing of early colonial and Māori flavours going on at Takutai Square, Britomart Complex. I guess I, I need to take the time here to um, formally hand these over to you, Peter. It's been a, um, an honourable uh, journey for uh, both Nico and I to bring these here for you today. and. Um, I've looked after them down in my office and I hand them over to you to look after them as part of uh, your whanau. Thank you very much.